Hey, GFFs, Growing Forward friends. I'm Paul Casey of Growing Forward Services, and I am excited to be with you for day six of the free program that I'm bringing to you because we're in this whole teleworking stage of life right now. And my program is called Time Management When No One Is Watching. Yeah, it takes great self-discipline to stay on track when there are so many distractions and not a lot of accountability. So that's why I developed this program just for you. And we are on day six today, but a quick review on the five. We're going to make sure that we've got our values and our vision anchoring us in our time management. We're going to pick three priorities for tomorrow while we're still in today. Then we're going to try to get those done as early in the day as possible to get a good start on that. And we don't procrastinate. The fourth thing was to block time, make appointments with yourself to get those tasks done and obey your calendar. Then we're going to try to do uh, make sure we get one thing done at a time and finish that task and not multitask. And then today is day six, and that is to follow my biorhythm. So here is the commitment of an effective time management. I will go with my personal biorhythm to be productive in my energy sweet spot time of the day. Your energy sweet spot time. We all have this sweet spot. You're either a morning person, you're an afternoon person, or you're an evening person like a night owl. And right now, uh, night owls, you might actually get a lot done because you've had to do some child care duties during the day and you can actually get a whole bunch done uh, before bed. But each of us has a different time of day where we're in that sweet spot. A lot of people are morning people, and that might be you. And this is great because you can just go along with a bunch of these principles and get stuff done early. I'm an afternoon person, so give me a good one o'clock meeting and I'm all over it. But I'm really in the minority. There's only like one hand in my seminars that raise for the afternoon. And then you've got those night owls, which doesn't help you on a regular work day, but it can help you now while you're teleworking. And then you've got the never people, right? You're just never on your game. No, that's none of you. You just have to figure out what it is. There's even a, uh, a new term called chronotype, which is your sleep schedule will tell you what time of day is best for you. Um, I don't get any credit for this, but the power of when quiz.com, the power of when quiz.com. You could take a free survey uh, from the guy who wrote the book and he'll he'll tell you which animal type you are for your sweet spot of the day. What you're going to do is you're going to put the things that need the most creative thought, the most critical thinking and put it in the sweet spot of your day. It's going to feel like that goes so much faster when you do that rather than sticking it in a time where it's like your energy is waning and it's like, I'm just going to slosh through this. And no, it's not going to work for you. It's going to double the time it takes if you take those big priorities and you stick it in those awful times where you probably need to be doing some relationship building or checking in with someone in on a meeting or uh, managing your email, but not doing your big priorities for the day. So you are going to follow that biorhythm and it's going to really make things go quickly. Another thing about biorhythm is you don't want to work on any task for more than 90 minutes without a break. It's called your uh, ultradian rhythm. And that old trading rhythm says you're going to start waning after 90 minutes. So you've got to get up. You've got to walk around, um, uh, take a lap around your house, you know, go get something to drink. No, not that. But you're going to get something to drink, you know, and you're just going to you're going to exercise a little bit, do some stretching in the office. And then you're going to get back to work, because if you just slosh through, it just doesn't work and it takes double the time. So our principle for number six is I'm going to go with my personal biorhythm to be productive in my energy sweet spot of the day. Hey, I would love to give you all 12 of these on one piece of paper. And the way to do that, especially if you've missed one of these videos, is to go to the email on the screen, growingforward at paulcasey.org. And I'll send this to you. You'll get in my tribe, which will uh, put you on my target practice list to give you some really great leadership and self-leadership tips each month. Also want to give you a free gift, and that is my Control My Calendar checklist. It's going to really kickstart your time management. You're going to go to just open a text message. You're going to text 72000 72000 and put the word growing in that box, and that's going to uh, have you approve it, and then you're going to get that free tool from me. It's going to give you a bunch of these principles and more that are going to get you ready to go. So when you go back to work, you're going to have a whole bunch of habits in place that are already starting to work for you. And we're going to go to day seven tomorrow. Each one of these principles building on each other. That's going to make you a time management rock star. All right. Until then, I will see you next time. Keep growing forward.